uh, as the president said, I teach English. I teach at NOVA. Have you heard of Northern Virginia Community College? Yes. yes. Okay, it's not far from here. So I, my first day is next Tuesday. So. Shut the fuck up! Hey, hey. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Ken, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Man, so I have a viral clip of an old white man who identify himself as a black woman who goes to a rally and Madison, Wisconsin, to meet and greet his supporters. And back here, we have a young lady here. She is a super fan. She is one of Biden's biggest fans. But she's way in the back. But she's happy to be there. And so, one of uh, Biden's campaign managers sees her way up here and asks her to come down here to the bottom, to the front, and since you're a big fan, come and support Mr. Biden. So they go up there, usher her downstairs. She sits right here, right in front of everybody. Cool. But you see this old lady here? This old lady here is kind of uh, cranky. She don't want the young black lady to put the sign in front of her so she's giving her lip. So already, the young black girl is feeling out of place among Democrats. And look at this, they're doing a little squabble here. And so she agrees because that's an old lady and she respects her elders, so she put the signage down. And now here comes the big shot. Mr. Biden, who identified himself as a black woman, is meeting, greeting the crowd. And they're just giving high fives and hugs and doing all the selfies. And nope, none for you. Aww. He just went, went right past her. And look at her face. Aw. She's just looking so, so used. Poor thing. This is where she realized she's just a prop. She's just a token. She's there for a photo op, but she didn't even get a chance to do a selfie. And he's just going around her and look at her face. Oh, my God. I just feel sorry for her. This is kind of embarrassing. So I'm not going to say that Biden is a racist because that's just too easy. Now, we all know that Biden identified himself as a black woman. And here goes to show you, black women don't like other black women. Yeah. Cringy, cringy. We, and I think you all have called this the cheap fakes video, and that's exactly what they are. They are cheap fakes video. Uh, they are done in bad faith. And there's another example of how Mr. Biden has missed opportunity with a bad Photoshop. Now, I'm not saying that he's a racist. We all know his history. Right, Kamala? Senator Harris. You have also been quite critical of Vice President, Vice President Biden's policies um, on race, specifically on the issue of busing in the 1970s, having benefited from busing uh, when you were uh, a young child. Vice President Biden says that your current position on busing, you're opposed to federally mandated busing, that that position is the same as his position. Is he right? That is simply false. And let's be very clear about this. 
when Vice President Biden was in the United States Senate working with segregationists to oppose busing, which was the vehicle by which we would integrate America's public schools. Had I been in the United States Senate at that time, I would have been completely on the other side of the aisle. And let's be clear about this. Had those segregationists their way, I would not be a member of the United States Senate, Cory Booker would not be a member of the United States Senate, and Barack Obama would not have been in a position to nominate him to the title he now holds. And so on that issue, we could not be more apart, which is that the vice president has still failed to acknowledge that it was wrong to take the position that he took at that time. Yeah, so I'm not gonna make this obvious point. All I'm saying is, if this was Trump, if this was a rally in Oklahoma and the single black man that's out there and Trump said, You know what? I'm, uh, look at my African-American over here. Look at him. Are you the greatest? Do you know what I'm talking about? Y'all have been all over him. Y'all would have been all over Trump if he point somebody out or if he shunned him. That's all we're saying. Mr. Biden could get away with just disrespecting black folks. You have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump and you ain't black. Asian folks. You cannot go to a 7-Eleven or a Dunkin' Donuts unless you have a slight Indian accent. I'm not joking. Hispanic folks and nobody will say nothing. And by the way, what you all know, but most people don't know, unlike the African-American community, with notable exceptions, the Latino community is an incredibly diverse community with incredibly different attitudes about different things. You go to Florida, you find a very different attitude about immigration in certain places than you do in your, when you're in Arizona. So it's a very different, a very diverse community. All we're saying is if Trump has done anything even close to that, you ought to jump all down his chili. Two tiers of justice. Two tiers of media. Anyway, that's the thoughts for the day. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> All right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you liberals, get off my lawn.